Today we're going to take a look at Gibbs Cam 2-axis wire EDM. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get the show on the road here. Uh, as you can see, I'm in Gibbs Cam 2013. And actually, when you are starting a new wire EDM process, you you uh, initially start from Gibbs Cam itself. So I'm going to go ahead and open a file. And as you can see, we have a two-dimensional 2D set of geometry. And the way you initiate the wire EDM package, this is actually um, a, a separate application. So I go to my wire EDM or WEDM menu, and I'm going to just say, let's grab all, all the geometry that exists here. And when I do, it takes me into the wire EDM package uh, with that geometry transferred over. And so now, for the remainder of the uh, demonstration here, I'll remain in this package. Uh, Gibbs Cam Wire EDM is actually very easy to use. It's uh, similar to Gibbs Cam in that if you uh, uh, follow this uh, first column down, uh, you get, uh, uh, it, it's actually a flow. You actually, uh, it actually steps you through what you, you need to do. Um, let's go ahead and get started here with the, uh, with the top icon here, which is kind of like uh, your housekeeping uh, thing. You set up the uh, machine configuration. I'm going to pick a uh, Charmeal's uh, machine here and I'm going to keep it on the wire itself is hard brass at 10 thousandths diameter and the material that I'm going to be creating my operations on uh, that's uh, aluminum. I'll switch over to uh, machining strategy skim cuts. Skim cuts is another name for multiple cuts so you do one cut and then you do another cut we're going to reverse the direction of those uh, cuts and we're also going to have a little retract distance uh, perpendicular. We'll leave that at uh, 20 thousandths. We're also going to go ahead and say that we're going to cut glue stops after all skim cuts. I'll talk more about uh, glue stops here in, in just a second. And um, then um, these are your display settings which I'll just leave at the defaults here. So. Uh, we're done with that. Now, before we go on and create some operations, the first thing I want to do is point out some of the other capabilities we have. We can edit, edit and modify geometry here. Um, not to a great extent. If you really want to do some, uh, some more extensive modeling, uh, you would go into your Gibbs Cam where you have uh, more powerful tools. But, you know, there are a few things here. Fillet, chamfer, splitting an element uh, into multiple segments. I'm going to go ahead and just do one of these, fillet. And I'll say I want a 10 thousandths fillet. And I'm going to pick these two lines. And you can see that I went ahead and got a fillet in there. Another tool we have here is uh, dimensions. So in case I want to find out lengths, uh, radii, diameter, etc., I can go ahead and do that. I'm going to set my text height here. And let's go on and just throw up a couple of dimensions. So I'll pick this line. And... Um, you can see here I got the length of that line. I'll throw up one more. Do a radius. And we'll go ahead and finish there. There's also a little switch here, by the way. I can turn these dimensions on or off uh, anytime that I want. I can also get information about the model. Uh, so construction and non-construction elements, I can measure distances, area, and there's even an on, onboard calculator. So if I go and, uh, for instance, pick this line, you can see I get information about that line itself. Okay, so enough with the uh, preliminaries. What we're going to do now is go ahead and generate um, some operations. So I'm going to pick here to start this. You may notice at the bottom, it's telling us to select a profile. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this profile. And we're going to start with just a straight zero draft, zero angle, parallel cut, and one cut here. And select a start point. You can see that we've generated some uh, wire feet holes. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that hole. And I'm going to tell it the glue stop width is 10 thousandths. And we'll OK that. And now we have a toolpath. If I go to the isometric view, you can see that it's actually got height to it. Um, that's, that represents the, uh, the top of the wire guide and, and the bottom of the wire guide. And it's here. 
Uh, you also notice we specified glue stops, right? So there are actually two different tool paths. And what, what Gibbscam Wire EDM does is it shows you the profile shown here in purple. And then any uh, cuts that are made are, are elevated in the default here, 10 thousandths of an inch above each other. So we're actually seeing the two different cuts. Um, now the wire guide is actually down here on this purple profile, but when we start to get multiple cuts, uh, it gets uh, difficult to discern which cut is, is which. So that's why it, it does this false um, elevation of the, uh, the various cuts. So again, we're gonna go here, come back, leave a little glue stop and then go and clean that up. Now a little bit about glue stops if you're not really familiar with wire EDM, is if we just went and cut this whole thing out, uh, towards the end it would get real floppy. Um, there'd be no support for it. So what glue stops mean are that I'm going to leave a little sliver of metal here to support it when that cut is done. When that first cut is done, then the idea is that we go through and glue in these small gaps. We glue it in there to give it support, and then we come back with this this last cut which we see right here and take that uh, glue stop out and the idea is that the glue that we put in is is now supporting the rest of it and so now that the whole part is cut we can go ahead and remove the glue and then go ahead and remove the part as well alright so um, that's our first operation now one other thing we can do is uh, we can right click on this and go into the properties and we can modify things so I'm going to say, look, give me a constant, uh, give me a constant angle, like a five degree uh, taper, and then let's go on and say that what, uh, hey, we want, to, we want two cuts as well instead of just one. So I'm going to go ahead and update that, and we can visibly see now that we have added draft, and also something new that's added are these dashed yellow draft lines, which actually show the the draft more clearly. And if I zoom up now, you can see that we have our original purple profile. We have that cut there. We, and now we have another cut in green. And then finally, we have this cut to go ahead and remove the glue stop as before. Now, if we want to see how what this looks like, uh, I can actually go in and uh, simulate this process. So I'm going to go ahead and say, let's uh, step through this and you can see the upper and lower guide there being displayed here's our first cut stop short it stops short then we have our second skim cut notice it's going in a reverse direction because that's why it's specified and then finally we have our glue stop cut so all it does is go and take that out and we're done okay. let's uh, go on here uh, I can actually edit or add uh, glue stops as well. So I've got one glue stop in here right now. So if I go and say let's edit or add a glue stop, I can, you know, it's uh, prompting me to select a line or an arc. So I'll pick this line and I'll say the start point is the same, which is the wire feed. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that same start point and go ahead and hit OK. You can see now that we have uh, another glue stop insert it. In fact, I can go on and keep doing that. I go and pick this and again the same start point as before. Okay, so now we've got three glue stops inserted into there. Um, I also have an undo function so I can undo uh, and redo whatever it is that I like to do and uh, you can see now that uh, my glue stops are removed and I'm back to, to having that taper. So I can keep doing that up to the last save point. Okay. Um, another thing we can do, by the way, let me get a dead-on view for us here, is we can modify uh, the taper angles. So you'll notice here it's asking me to select an element. So I'll just pick this line right here and I'll say, you know, on this particular line I don't want any taper. Leave the five degrees everywhere else. And you can visibly see that we have five degrees everywhere, but that tapering out from this line has been eliminated. Another thing we can do 
is specify conic or cylindrical radius. Now what this means is if we look at, um, at this radius here, you notice we have the five degree taper. So this radius is larger than that radius, right? But suppose you want to keep this radius, to, you wanted it to be the same both on the inside and the outside. You can do that as well. So notice it's asking us to select the arc down here. I'm going to pick this arc and I'm going to specify that I want a cylindrical arc. That is the inner and outer arc should be the same. So if you hit OK, you can see now that I've gone ahead and made those those two things uh, equal. And uh, the other thing I'd like to show you here is no core cutting. Uh, what we're doing here is we're actually removing a slug, if you will, right? But suppose you want to destruct an area. You can go ahead and do that by selecting no core cutting. You notice it's asking me again to select a profile. And I'll say I just want one cut. We're going to step over 50% of the tool diameter. And I'll hit, um, I'm sorry, one other thing. I want to do my uh, uh, start position, which will be the center here. And I'm going to hit OK. And you can see that we've essentially rough that out. If you're familiar with uh, a milling rough process or even a turning rough process, this is the wire EDM analog of that. So some other things here. Uh, we've got now two operations. We can actually resequence these. So this originally was the f uh, first operation. This was the second. So if I want to reverse those, uh, you notice it's asking me to select the first part. So I'll pick this and now it's asking me to select the next part and I'll pick this and we'll say we're finished so now this one will be the first operation and in fact if I go back into my machining simulation you can see that we're starting there on that other operation instead of on this operation okay I another thing that uh, we can do let me get a top view here comes in handy is the uh, operation sheet so I can go and create an operation sheet and it puts out all the information. We can print this out. Uh, we can export it uh, as an electronic format. So it gives all the information about the operations that we have here. And then finally, this is all just a pretty picture, right, until we have code. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and create some CNC code. I give it a name. For the posted code, I'm going to specify that I want to create the code, and we're going to go ahead and do that. And I can also view the code here. So here's all the code ready to be sent out to the machine. And when I'm done here, I can go ahead and save this out. And it has its own unique extension, GWX. So if I save this out now, um, that will that can now be opened directly uh, from the wire EDM package um, if desired. So that's the end of my uh, uh, overview demonstration of the Gibbscam wire EDM package for 2D operations.